Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habitifillah A question was asked, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ustaz, recently I had a brother come to me and tell me that he left Salafia due to some statements he read from the ulama about the sun rotating around the earth and the earth being stationary He said that following the Salaf makes you go against your logic and that he doesn't want to do that Obviously, this is misguidance, and the brother himself was not someone who attended the durus going on with students of knowledge in our area. But what are some ways I can advise this brother and respond to his doubts? Jazakallah uh, khairan. First and foremost, I think the best way to respond to his doubts is remind him what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem after A'udhu Billah min shaitan al-Rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alif Lam Mim, Dalik al-Kitab la Rayba Fi, Hudin al-Muttaqeen. الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يقيمون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك وأولئك هم مفلحون الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه verily this is a book in which contains no doubt so first and foremost that he should have no doubt about his deen and it's from the شيطان and the shaitan will continue to come to you in various ways and ways you couldn't imagine to cause doubt. And especially in this time and age, because with social media and the Internet, everything is out there and people access all kind of information. They don't have any regard for their deen. They just research anything and they don't Aslan have that much. Uh, they're not grounded in their religion and they go astray. And I've known many people who were supposedly on the sunnah for years and some becoming Shia. Some becoming, uh, you know, leaving Islam, apostating, you know, all kind of strange uh, things that we'll witness. Those who live after me, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, uh, They will see many differences. So you're going to see many differences. You're going to see many strange things. Uh, that will happen. And this is what the Prophet والسلام, was talking to his Sahaba. So what about us? So it's very important to understand, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the ayah that we're mentioning, that, that the Quran is a hudun lil muttaqeen. It's for a guidance for mankind, but it's a guidance, especially for the muttaqin, those who have taqwa, because that requires iman, that requires that they believe, and that requires that that's their masdar, that that's what they go back to. They go back to the book of Allah, and they go back to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with the understanding of the salaf of this ummah, that that is the asl of their religion. That's ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. But you have other groups and sects that build their creed and build their beliefs based on uh, aspects of philosophy and uh, as they say, Ahla Kalam, that they often begin with their masdar on what appears rational and they use that as a way to guide the Quran and the Sunnah. However, Ahl Sunnah bil aks, bil aks, Ahl Sunnah. They go to the Nasus first and build their Aqidah from the text of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'een and Aqidah's Tawqifiya Your belief system, it is indisputable Khalas, it's Aqidah, you accept it You accept that there are uh, six pillars of Iman We can't Explain it away because we only know six pillars of Iman because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran and the Prophet والسلام, mentioned it in the Hadith of Jibreel and in other Nusus. This is how we know. How do we know there are five pillars of Islam? We know that from the book and the Sunnah. We know that from Nusus and we believe that Nusus. How do we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes? We know that. From the Quran and from the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Ahl Sunnah believes, and Nataqid, uh, Ahl Sunnah believes that Allah subhanahu wa taala, His divine names and attributes are as He tabarak wa taala described, and as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam affirmed. 
We affirm what Allah affirmed about himself, and we negate what Allah negates about himself. And we affirm what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirmed about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we negate what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam negated about Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. So, that lets us know, habitifillah, it's tawqifiyya. That this thing, uh, the belief in Islam, in your iman, ultimately it's built upon your belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your practice. And the shu'ub al-iman, that iman is qul lisan, wa'amla bi-jawarih, and al-amla bil-qalb, that it is the belief in the heart and the deeds of the heart. And it is the actions, in, or it's the statements of the tongue, and the actions on your limbs. All of that makes up iman, and we only know that because this is what the Nasus, the Quran, and the Sunnah show us. So, I would advise my brother, again, with the, la with the remainder of the, 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 the shahid in the ayat, in Surah Al-Baqarah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alif uh, mim al-kitab fi hudin bil ghayb. That's the shahid. al yu'minun bil ghayb. Those who believe in the unseen... We believe in the unseen. That's Ahli Iman. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described them as the muttaqeen. That those are the ones who are from the muttaqeen. Because they believe in uh, they believe in the unseen. They believe in it. And they try to practice. And they try to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And worship Him by how He wants to be worshipped. As Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah uh, mentioned about ibadah. He said, ibadah. Uh, Ibadah is some jam at Likuluma Yuhibahu Law Yarda. Mena mal of Vahir Wabatin. Okay, Makal. He said, Ibadah, worship, is everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and is pleased with from those open deeds and actions and those inward deeds and actions, meaning an Amal Kalbiya. And your etiquette, your creed. So those things are our belief, and they're not up for debate, and we don't rationalize them. And the asal is that we believe and we don't dispute and get into that. But the people who are weak and the people who allow for other shubahat to come to them, then they will uh be uh, will become divided and leave the jama'ah ah of the Muslims of, of Ahl Sunnah with jama'ah ah and possibly Islam. So, in fact, your brother in this affair is on a dangerous path. It's not about not being Salafi, it's almost it, what he's may lead to is him saying, I'm not Muslim, or he doesn't even have to say it, he may become a disbeliever. Because he begins to reject the deen. Why? Because it doesn't jive with his intellect. This is why it's so dangerous. And this is why ah, Hadith throughout history had, you know, it was a war of ideas and a war of menhaj and methodology with Ahl Kalam. And why they, some of Ahl Kalam make takfir and say Ahl, Ahl Hadith and Ahl and, and those following the Salaf al Salih that they are. The mujassima, that they are like this and they're, you know, that they are, uh, you know, uh, that they believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a body like his creation and, and all of these other uh, false claims that come in their rebuking and refuting the path of Ahli Iman and the path of Ahli Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Because this is the path of the Sahaba. And we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us in him and that he will traverse the path of Iman. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from the shubahat because there's so much. And I recently joined Facebook and I see, I'm just amazed. I'm blown away. I'm like a, a virgin, you know, in the soil, in the soil. And there's so much filth out there. I'm amazed in every respect. Sometimes there's people of deen 
But you just wonder, where did their knowledge come from? What in the world they're saying? Because it's still based on their views. And then, alhamdulillah, there's people who translate. And then there's people who actually are doing khair and, and propagating the sunnah that are students of knowledge or, or what have you. There's a lot of different people there. But you're just amazed at how much falsehood is out there too. How many Muslims, you know, have the worst and say the most evilest things without thinking and expose their sins and showing their family, their wives, the men showing their wives and showing their children. It's, it's just such a thing. Oh, this is my new baby. And I love my baby and I'd love to show my baby too. You know, I'm, I'm you know, uh, alhamdulillah. But no, no, don't go that path. Why? Because then you're, you're not actually, when you study the deen, you'll see the dangers of the evil eye. You'll see the, all those other dangers that can come to your new, new, newborn child or that will destroy your marriage, or you're showing off your wife, well, all these men around the world are looking at her. MashaAllah, she has nice eyes. MashaAllah, she puts her hijab on nice. MashaAllah, this, da 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 Or maybe there's no MashaAllah. Maybe they just go strictly to the heart. So you have to be very careful at what you expose yourself to and what you propagate. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and pick of our evil.